Hi, my name is Vishwa Bandhu and I provide online math classes for grade 9th and 10th students. And I do it for various boards like CBSE, IGCSE and IB and Australian boards. And I, I did my MBA in year 2000 and I have an overall experience of about 14 years in teaching and since past two years I'm doing online teaching. Now, before I take much of your time, let me quickly move ahead with what I have uh, as a demo in this particular video. So I'm going to share my screen and here it is, the screen, okay? Now, the for the demo sake, what the, the question which I have taken, that is of the trigonometry. And the question says that there is a triangle, which you can see here in this figure. And this triangle is, uh, is basically A, B, and C. And this angle being the theta, this angle being the theta. Now, it says that cot theta is given as 7 over 8, and we need to find out the value of this particular expression, right? Now, the expression says 1 plus sine theta times 1 minus sine theta over 1 plus cos theta and 1 minus cos theta, right? So we got to find this out. And the approach which we are going to take in this particular thing is that we already know that, you know, when we have any triangle, which is a right angle triangle, right? So we can quickly apply the Pythagoras theorem in that. And once we do that, we can find out all the three sides which we have. Now, since cot theta is equal to seven over eight, and if we consider, if we consider, we have, if we have X as the common ratio, right so what it means is that we can say cot theta is equal to 7x over 8x which means and we also know that cot theta is equal to adjacent right that's adjacent upon opposite now, in this particular triangle, if we really look at the edges, and since we are talking about theta, this as this angle, then that means the adjacent is going to be this, right? And this one is going to be the opposite, which means that we can say that this is 7x and this is 8x, right? And now we will apply the Pythagoras theorem. Pythagoras theorem, when we apply in this particular question, then it is going to be, like we can say AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square which basically means AB, we already know that is 8X for us. So we put it like this, 8X whole square plus 7X whole square. And that's like 64X square and 49X square. Now, if we add them up, it's like 113X square, right? Now, if we know this, then we can write that AC, so what we are getting here is that AC whole square, AC square is equal to 113X square. And hence, we can say that AC is equal to X under root 113. And now that's our hypotenuse. So what we can do is we can simply put it here. Now that is X over 113, right? Now, Let's, since we have got all the values of all the three sides and we've got the value of the hypotenuse also, all we need to do is we need to quickly find out the value of sine theta, sine theta and also cos theta and put those two values into this whole expression and then find out the answer for this. So uh, like we already know that sine theta in any triangle is always equal to opposite upon hypotenuse. Now we have opposite as 8x. So that's like 8x 
divided by x root 113. Similarly, if we do it for cos theta, then it's adjacent upon hypotenuse and that's equal to 7x upon x113, right? Now, having these two, uh, these two values, because these are the ones which are going to be extremely important for us, this one and this one. So these are the two values which we will put into this particular um, you know, expression which we have here and we'll find out our values. Now, before we put these values, we will also simplify it. So this, if you clearly observe, this is the, the numerator here that is in the form of a plus b times a minus b. And similarly, similarly, the denominator is also in the same form, a plus b and a minus b. So what I can simplify it, this whole thing as, I can write like one minus sine square theta, right? Times one minus cos square theta. Because this is how uh, we convert a minus b times a plus b equals a square minus b square. This is how we do it. So we have converted one plus sine theta times one minus sine theta into one minus sine square theta. And similarly, one plus cos theta times one minus cos theta is equal to one minus cos square theta. Now we will put these two values into it and we will simplify it. So it is like one minus sine square theta means this whole thing. And here we can cancel x with x. So it will become basically 8 over square root 113 and the whole thing square divided by 1 minus cos square theta. So that's going to be 1 minus and that's like 7 and 113 and the whole square, right, is equal to. Now, it will become, if we further simplify it, it will become like, since we have, it's getting whole square. So square root 113 will get converted into simple 113, right? So, and eight will become 64. So once we simplify it, this whole thing is, will look something like this, right? And similarly, this will look something like this, the denominator. And now further simplify it. So it's like 49 over 64, right? Now that's the final answer for this particular uh, question. And this is the value of the, of the expression which is given here in this question. So I hope you liked it and you could understand. It was pretty simple. So please, Keep watching these videos. Thank you so much. Have a nice day. And bye-bye.